Hi right, guys, welcome back to Rick the Electronics Guy. Today I'm going to be wiring a 110 volt and a 240 volt for, well, the garage, because I need some more fucking voltage. <laughs> so, as you can see, I had a real fucking doozy of a box here. Fucking numbnuts decided to build it inside my wall, unlike uh, the normal. Also put my hinges in the wall, as you can see. So, got a couple extra spots up there, but uh, yeah, so first thing I, I did is uh, I measured the distance in my wall from here to there to find out where my position is, minus five or six inches or so for the inside wall being. So I would have measured from about here to there to get that part of it, which from the long run it was 39. So I made it 34 and it was 54 and made it 49. So then I went in and now let's head inside and I'll start cutting the top of the wall because all my wires come in from up there once I take the panel off, which I've already done. So we'll go from there. So I'll catch you on the inside. Alright guys, so, camera died, I didn't go too much further ahead of you guys, just the, the little basic stuff, like, I put the holes here so I can get my wires, and uh, I drilled the hole up into the 2x4 into the so I can get the wire ran down and through, so that we can come over here and get it in, so, that's where we're at right now is we gotta fish the wire. So I'm gonna see if I can see the wire first when I'm going down. So, because I'm running a 20 amp circuit breaker, I'm using a 12.2 Romex to run. Um, a double wall, right there. So, now we got our wires ran through the walls, and we will continue, well, I'm probably going to continue tomorrow, but 
we'll continue tomorrow because the kids are home and I don't want to play with the electricity while the kids are home. So until tomorrow, I will see you guys later. Um, if I do continue, it might be to put the reciprocals on. But I'll probably save that for tomorrow too. All right, later guys. All right guys, so I did end up uh, wiring the reciprocals. Um, for any of you out there, green is ground, silver is neutral, and gold is power. So, and on the 220, I wired my red for uh, one side power, black for the other side power, and then ground. So, that's what uh, I have for my 220. Um, I'm gonna go cut the power off in the in the meter, and then uh, we'll uh, get these wires pushed down in here, and uh, we'll go uh, from there. And I'll I'll be back on the outside. All right. All right, guys. So this part's gonna be kind of hard to see. So I'm really gonna get this wired up, and then I'll show you exactly what I did. Um, my ground is on this side, my neutral is on this side, we're only going to be using that for the 110. The 220 I'm just going to cap it off inside the box because we're not going to use it. Um, it's just like I said, I ran the wire so that if we ever upgrade the plug to one of the newer standard ones, then I have it there, it's ready to go. So I'm just going to, like I said, I'm going to run the wires down and then I'll cut back on and show you pretty much exactly what I did. and. Uh, if for anybody who doesn't know how to put a breaker in and out, you, when you have your right size, you just put it in on an angle and slap it in. Just angle in, angle in. That's uh, pretty much the trick. So I'll be right back in a couple minutes. All right, guys. So I got my new breakers installed. Black, red for my 220 and just black for my single 110. Like I said, these just pop in on an angle, when you pull it out, you put it back in, and pop it back down. So, there's my power, and right here is my new ground for my 220, and my new ground for my 110, pull it over. And then uh, this is the neutral that's not being in use for the 220, but it is connected. And then the neutral for the 110, so, that's what we are working with right now, and uh, we're just going to get the panel back on and kick the breaker on. As you can see, I have my breakers off right now. Always leave your new ones off, and I will be right back with you. Hey guys, so kids are back home from school. One breaker on, two breaker on. All right, guys. So we got everything in, we got the box power on. Um, everything's good. Uh, just so you guys know, when you guys get like a GFCI outlet, you have to press your reset button, just like that when they come. You won't have to press the test, but you will have to press the reset in until it clicks so it will work. So let's go ahead and plug a device in. We got some power so we are good on the power side so our next step is to put on our outlet covers and get that out of the way It's always nice to grab yourself an electrician screwdriver. So, Klein, usually Home Depot, does great. Um, so, for the last part, well, the second to the last part, this will be the very last part. I'm waiting for the cover to come in so I can put a cover around it so that if we ever need to get into the wiring again, 
we already have the hole and there's no more cutting or pasting or anything else so that's what I will wait for from then right now the only other thing I'm gonna do is go outside and label the circuit breaker so anybody else knows what's what so I will get to you when I get to that point alright guys so you always want to label what your voltage is and stuff so I just put 220 garage and GFCI garage so um, other than that, until I get the panel, uh, we'll see you guys then. Welcome back to the final part. Here's the new panel that we are going to work with. Uh, we're going to get this mounted up and call it uh, complete. So the only thing I could find cheap for about 10, 11 bucks was a, an 18 by 24 piece panel. Don't forget, have your little level so you know how much where you're at, stick it right on top of your metal plate and go. Make sure you have your pen handy. Alright guys, so that's how to get everything all done, set up, have a panel on your wall in case you ever need to get back to it again, and uh, that's pretty much it. So thanks for watching Rick the Electronics Guy, and uh, this is how to add a 110 or a 220 to your house. So thank you very much for watching, and please subscribe, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next videos.